Microsoft and developer Playground Games just know what they're doing when it comes to racing games. Forza Horizon 5 is another prime example of that. As you may already know, the Forza Horizon series is a balance between arcade-like racing and simulation. This series allows players to explore a vast open world that will have them completing missions, racing online against friends, and unlocking new cars and mods along the way. Playground Games solidifies the fun factor when it comes to Horizon 5 as it brings mostly everything players loved from the previous iteration and somehow makes it even better. From the selection of the cars to the new open world to explore, Forza Horizon 5 should be on your list for one of the best. There are a lot of types of racing out there, and many are technical in their own right, but easily one of the toughest out there is that of drift racing. Because you must have perfect control of your car in order to survive the twists and turns, else you'll spin out quickly. Kark's Drift Racing is a title that fully embraces that difficulty because the game is built to be an accurate version of drift racing and you'll be constantly tuning and adjusting your car in order to make it the best drift machine possible for the tracks you'll be on. And then when you think you're ready for even steeper competition, head online and challenge your friends and the world to see who can keep up and who will get left behind. The Need for Speed franchise isn't just about racing, it's about feeling like an outlaw while blasting through the streets. If you're looking for the latest experience in that series, you need to get Need for Speed Unbound. The title puts you in competition for the Grand, a special four-week competition that'll take you all over Lakeshore. You'll start at the bottom and then with each race, earn your way to the top of the racing world. Customize your car to fit your needs, and listen to some of the best young artists who drive out there. Burnout Paradise is an iconic racing that was a major hit on the PS3 and Xbox 360. This game has a special place in everyone's heart whether it's from nostalgia or for its arcade gameplay mechanics, Burnout Paradise has stamped its existence in the racing genre. EA understood that fans loved the game, and to a lot of surprise they went and developed a remastered version of the game. Released back in 2018, Burnout Paradise Remastered, brought both longtime fans of the title and new ones alike under one umbrella filled with fun gameplay and epic chases. As I recently mentioned, Burnout Paradise is more of an action racing title. Unlike titles like Forza 5, Burnout Paradise brings a level of addicting gameplay that can only be there due to its arcade-like nature. The chases from the cops, the epic races from the missions, and the vast world all tie this game up to be one of the best. The Crew 2 is a different type of game for Ubisoft to develop. They're more of a publisher that releases story-heavy games with massive open worlds like Assassin's Creed, the Watch Dogs series, and the Division franchise. However, since the launch of the original The Crew, fans of the racing genre became interested in seeing what Ubisoft can bring to the table. The Crew 2 builds upon the first game with new race modes, different vehicles to choose from and a ton of new features and fixes that players welcomely embraced. Not only does the Crew 2 include car racing, but players will get to race planes, boats, and even motorcycles. Ubisoft brought more to the table and the fans were delighted to say the least.
Grand Theft Auto V brings one of the best in-game driving experiences to the gamer, and that's partly due to the developer's attention to detail and its robust open world to explore. For games like Grand Theft Auto, the open world has to be interesting to explore for the player. Los Santos is exactly that, the map is massive spanning a ton of different regions with different terrain, roads, and density of other NPC cars. Rockstar games have a special touch when it comes to driving in their games and Grand Theft Auto V brings the heat, especially during the racing missions. Thanks to Franklin, one of the main three playable characters, slow down ability while driving can create some epic car chases in the game. Hitting that slow down ability can create an epic moment where the player can squeeze between oncoming traffic, cut across the highway, or even set up a jump that will bring the epicness of Fast and Furious to the game. Need for Speed Heat is supposed to act as the spiritual successor of Need for Speed Underground, and for the most part developer EA Gothenburg did a good job. The racing gameplay is fun and the map has a unique feel to it. However, a big feature that must be present in racing games is a world that seems lived in and Need for Speed Heat doesn't feel like it. There will be times where the driving could get boring, dare I even say tedious. Thankfully, Need for Speed Heat has some redeeming factors. If you're into arcade-like racing games, this will keep you interested for quite some time. Drifting, high-paced races and underground-like races will keep you on the edge of your seat. Rockstar Games' epic Grand Theft Auto series has been notorious in the past two decades. Not only for their crazy stories and lovable characters, but due to their iconic feel of driving around in an open world by their design. Grand Theft Auto The Trilogy Definitive Edition was released last year and fans of the franchise have been rejoicing since. We saw some great improvements made to the original trilogy such as lighting, texture polish, and frame rate improvement. Thankfully, Rockstar Games left the driving mechanics mostly the same, just perhaps a little, smoother than its original release on the PS2 and Xbox 360. The lighting on the cars, and the traction of the tires, all add up to give the player a satisfying in-game driving experience. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit was personally one of my favorites in the franchise. The choice between playing as the cops or the racers brought a new layer into the game that just worked for me. Outsmarting the cops or making a hard turn to escape them was equally fun and developer Criterion Software managed to bring the magic into the remastered version almost a decade later. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit also keeps the system of the game generally simple for their players. There are no complex upgrades, mods to install, or car mumbo jumbo the causal racers won't understand. The balance between keeping it realistic, while arcade-like is beautifully done and mends the two genres very nicely. Soul Runner might be the most different out of the other titles on this list as it's more of a simulation for truck driving. Instead of the usual racing game, players will be delivering cargo to locations, towing vehicles that have broken down, and doing other jobs like that. The driving mechanics for this one is pretty nice because it allows you to get a simulation of how this type of job would be. Instead of racing down a beautiful course like in Forza Horizon 4, SnowRunner is a more slow methodical racer that will have players using their brains. Which path would be the best to drive on? Can you hook up the car that got stuck in mud or perform a tight turn around a bend? If you're into this type of simulation experience, then SnowRunner might be for you.
Assetto Corsa, unlike SnowRunner, is a very straightforward racing game. Similar to Forza 6 Motorsport, players will be participating in races that will be on a track. Developer 505 Games made sure to bring the classic racing feel to the game and for players who enjoy track racing with fancy cars with powerful engines, this is going to be your jam. Assetto Corsa has a slew of playable modes to choose from, a ton of tracks to experience and it also allows for online racing. Online racing on a track brings a special kind of fun to the table and if you're competitive, you're going to want to hone your skills before jumping online as the completion will be fierce. Dakar 18 is mostly centered around off-roading. Matter of fact, the whole game is racing off-road so players will be dropped into a huge open world with the sandy dunes, rough rocky terrain, and slippery slopes. Dakar 18 recreates maps from Peru, Bolivia, and even Argentina, each bringing its own unique feel to the game. This game is preferred for drivers who want that off-road experience, where there is no real path to follow and the open sandy dunes are yours to explore. Races can be semi-tough when you don't really know where to go, but that's the whole charm of Dakar 18. When it comes to simulating a realistic experience of off-road racing, World Rally Championship provides a fantastic package. Career mode takes players through an eclectic selection of stages and legendary real-life cars. It also includes a livery editor for players to make their own custom team. A precise physics engine with realistic aerodynamics, turbo, and braking lets players feel the difference between various surfaces and it results in gameplay that feels challenging and rewarding at the same time. If you want to take your skills online, there are also clubs and competitions to measure yourself against the best drivers out there. To left two caution through water, keep into right two, tightens 30, bumpy. <laughs> Left two, don't cut, and right two, into dip. Into left three, narrows. Into right four, tightens, break, into left three. Need for Speed from 2015 was touted as a franchise reboot, and players were expecting it to be the Need for Speed Underground 3 that we never got. This game is a mixed bag with some high and low moments. The environments, graphics and cosmetic upgrades are some of the best you can find in a racing game of this generation. Maps are big and diverse, they offer a seamless transition from highways to mountains and you'll constantly be discovering new locations as you drive across the map. The game does have some iffy car handling mechanics and police never really seem like a threat. The car list also leaves something to be desired but this is a pretty good game that offers fantastic customization options for your favorite cars. Developer Playground Games and Turn 10 Studios have been knocking it out of the park when it comes to these open-world style racing titles and Forza Horizon 4 just hits that sweet spot. The array of different cars to choose from, completing races to unlock cars, and modifications keep the player engaged, and of course, we have to talk about the different playable seasons. This is one of Forza Horizon 4 biggest features and it allows players to experience different seasons throughout the game. Driving through the fall compared to winter will create two separate experiences both bringing their unique driving conditions. The winter will bring slipper roads, the spring can bring rain, and the fall leaves can create traction against your tires. This might be a small detail for some gamers, but you have to appreciate the commitment to bringing a unique driving experience to the game of the developers.
there are plenty of driving games out there for you to partake in, but Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown tries to give you more than a simple racing title can give you. It wants you to have a driving experience that everyone can enjoy. So, for example, you'll be able to have fun in races, it's true. But you'll also be able to drive around the game's world and take in all the sights and sounds that are there. You can even bring in your friends and form a driving party that will go on for as long as you want. So why not drive some of the most luxurious cars possible in a beautifully rendered world?